Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about area. We're going to be measuring the area of rectangles and squares. We're going to do it using our formula. We're not going to be counting squares like you might have done in third grade or putting things on top of other things like we did yesterday for our explore. Today we're going to be using the formula. So what do we need to know to solve for our area? We need to know the length and the width as long as we know the dimensions of two of the sides then we can find the area we just multiply those two numbers the length times the width here's our first problem okay to find the area of this rectangle we know that it's seven feet across and 15 feet up and down so our formula tells us that we are going to multiply 7 times 15. Now, if you don't know that one off the top of your head, which most of us don't, I could write it a different way. I could write 15 times 7, and then we would just, okay, multiply. 5 times 7 is 35. I carry my 3. Carry my three up top. Seven times one is seven, plus the three up there would end up being 10. So 105 square feet. And remember it's square feet because we're count it's, it, it's like counting the squares. What you have to remember right now, multiply the length times the width, your answer will be in square units. If it's feet, if it's yards, if it's inches or miles, centimeters, it's gonna be square, whatever they are. Let's go on to our next problem. Mrs. Harrison wants to carpet her 18 foot by 25 foot rectangular living room. How many feet of carpet will she need to purchase? So what I'm gonna do is switch over to a piece of notebook paper and a pencil so that I can do this problem because I see that it's a two digit by two digit multiplication problem and I don't think that's gonna be really easy to show you on this screen. So I'm just switch to a different one. All right, we've got 18 times 25. make it big for you there. All right, we're gonna use our tic-tac zero. Five times eight is 40. Put our zero, carry our four. Our ones place times our tens place. Five times one is five, plus four is nine. We're through with our ones place because we've already multiplied it by everything up here. So I'm going to tic-tac zero. All right, now I'm gonna multiply by my tens place. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry my 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus the one I regrouped is 3. Now, neither one of those are my answer. Both of those are partial products. They're both part of my answer, but I have to add them up to find my answer. 0 and 0 is 0. 9 and 6 is 15. 3 and 1 is 4. So my answer is going to be 450 square feet. I'm going to switch back over to my other screen. And my answer would be 450 square feet. All right, let's do one more problem together. Mr. Patel wants to cover a 20 foot by 10 foot wall with wallpaper. Okay, think about those clues that tell you what you're gonna do. It says, how many feet of wallpaper will he need to buy? What's he gonna do with his wallpaper? He's going to cover the wall with it, not go around the edges. He's gonna cover the whole wall. So what does he wanna do? He needs to find the area. 20 times 10. I'll go up here and make this a little nicer looking. 
Just a little bit of uh, formatting stuff here. All right, now we can make this really easy. We're going to use our zeros trick. I'm going to ignore my zeros for just a minute. I'm going to multiply two times one. Two times one is two. I don't want to underline anymore. Thank you. Two times one is two. How many zeros do I have in my problem up here at the ends of the numbers? One in the top number and one in the bottom number. Two zeros up top means two zeros in my product as well. How many feet of wallpaper does he need to buy? He needs to buy 200 square feet. All right. It's time for you to do these same kinds of problems on your own. Go back to the Google Classroom, go to the assignment, click on the form, solve those problems, use notebook paper if you need to, use your multiplication chart if you need to. All the tools that you have, go ahead and use them. Make sure you click submit when you get finished with your work and then uh, I will leave you a comment as soon as I see that it's turned in. Have a great day and I will see you again soon.